I know you have seen all these videos of people making tons of money doing Amazon FBA. I probably shouldn't be telling you this. After 18 months, I made with my Amazon FBA business. Are you ready for a roller coaster ride? Then buckle up, because in this video, I'm going to share with you how my Amazon FBA business did from day one till month 18. And I will share with you exactly how much it costs to start selling your own products. And I'll be going to go month by month and share all revenue, all expenses, and my final profits after 18 months of selling, including selling the whole company. And I'll give you an honest and transparent look at what it takes to run an Amazon FBA business so you can decide whether or not this is something for you. And make sure to stay until the end of the video because I'm going to share with you my biggest mistakes, the lessons that I have learned. And I made a big mistake that actually cost me $3,000. And I want that you can learn from my mistakes. And without further ado, let's start the ride. I started my Amazon FBA journey in 2019. And just like you, probably I watched a ton of YouTube videos thinking about whether or not I should start selling on Amazon. And eventually my urge to be self-employed and create my own business was so great that I decided to get serious about it. So it all began in May 19 with me and 30K of my own money. Will you need this much money? We will talk about this in a minute. And since I didn't know anything about Amazon FBA, I decided to become a student in an FBA coaching. And it should actually cost me 9,000 US dollars. Was that a good decision? We will also find out in this video. So I spent summer 2019 setting up my company, doing product research, and I actually developed my own product and did all the necessary steps to bring the product on the market. And on 11th of November 2019, after just six months in, I had my first product here in Germany and was ready to sell it. And it was actually the product that I'm showing you here, a bird feeder, November 19, and my 30 grand are quite not there anymore. So we have to subtract the following. We have to subtract 4,000 for the coaching, which was in total 9K, but actually it was 1K upfront and then 500 each month. So at this point it would be minus 4K and I spent 15K on the first batch of products. It's quite a lot, but we will talk about it later. So minus 15K and minus 3K for import in that case. And since I did my own product, I had to pay 3,000 for mold, 2,000 for product pictures, 1,000 for certificates, taxes were 500, and then there were a bunch of other smaller expenses that added up to 2,500 US dollars. And this was basically for things like the quality inspection, for samples, the tax consultant, software, package design, logo design, and flyer design, and things like that. So at this point, I'm 30K down. And trust me, that moment can be very scary when you have just invested all the amount of money you had and you're not sure yet if you'll get it back and if your products work. Now you might ask yourself, do I need 30K to start Amazon FBA? And the answer is, you clearly don't. And you could actually reduce some of the following costs. You could, for example, actually skip the coaching in total or get a cheaper coaching. You don't have to spend 10,000 US dollars on a coaching. Then also, you could purchase products that obviously don't require the mold, and you could purchase products that are worth 3,000 euro, you should, or dollars. You should also find a supplier for that. And then also the import costs will decrease. Maybe then you'll pay $500 and then you'll end up at a sum around 5,000 US dollars, which I think is fine. And also the minimum amount that I would suggest you to start with Amazon FBA. So now we're in the first week of selling bird feeders on Amazon and it's an exciting journey. And I actually do sell around five pieces a day in the first week, which was a phenomenal sign already. And as we got closer to Christmas, the sales were climbing and I would sell, it was the 4th of December, 42 bird feeders. And that was absolutely crazy. And it wasn't even Christmas yet. And I was out of stock on December 18. And since I bought a thousand pieces and I sold them for around 90 US dollars, my revenue now was $90,000. Now that doesn't say anything about profitability yet. And we will talk about profitability in just a second. But before we dive deeper into the numbers, now you might think, oh, he's just showing off with his sales. 
I feel obliged to say the following. I was in an Amazon FBA group of the coaching I did, and there were hundreds of other Amazon sellers. And being that successful with your first product is not the norm. It's not the norm. The truth is you're gonna take some losses, but you have to understand that this is part of the journey on your way to success, just like in any other business. The point is to be passionate about it. And I'm actually passionate about the opportunity to build my own brand, to create my own product, find a hole in the market and fill it, solve an actual problem. I just love the whole idea of that and the creativity it actually offers you. And also the sense of fulfillment I get when you see your own products that you have designed on the Amazon marketplace. And this whole journey is about learning and improving your skill set and about finding and pinpointing the exact area where you can provide the most value for people. And from that point on, it's execute, execute, execute and learning, learning, learning. And you will, with that mindset, eventually find success. But now let's jump back to the numbers. And I had now, as I said, 90K in revenue. And we want to know what will be left of this. Now in Germany, we have to pay 19% taxes on our revenue, which was around $14,000. I had to pay around $8,000 for PPC, which was at around 9%. I had a 4% return rate, which was around $4,000. I had to pay $11,000 Amazon fee, and the fulfillment fee was at around $7,000, which then left me with 45,000 in the bank. And if you now take this minus the 30K investment, I had a 50K income for my first order, which equals a margin of around 16.66%. And what we have to consider is that I have paid product pictures, mold and the coaching from my margin in the end. And you have to pay that only one time. So without that, my margin would be at around 25%. So at this point I was out of stock and I had to wait for my new delivery for circa three months. So my learning number one, in dropshipping everything takes longer than you think. Production, the goods sitting at the port waiting for the ship to leave, shipping time, time for the customs to clear your products, etc. So my advice is keep track of your sales and reorder in time and have the money to order stock for three months. And we continue right away with my learning number two. After eight months in, I have made 15K profit, which was absolutely great for me. And when I started out, I was so hesitant to spend so much money on product pictures, software, etc. But in this business, you have to invest in order to be successful. So don't be afraid to invest, but do it and be smart about it. And I can only recommend, get yourself a coach, a training program or whatever. Get Helium 10, Seller Board, get a tax consultant that is specialized in that field and this will save you a ton of time and secure your success. So now it's December 18th, 2019, and I'm ready to reorder. And I actually spent 27,000 US dollars on importing on the products themselves, on taxes, etc. I get a new mold for 2K, I get new pictures for 1K because I wanted to make, to get a new variation. And now I'm down to 15K. And well, what do you think? 15K is the perfect amount to invest into a second product. Hence, I did that. I did the research process again. And by the end of February 2020, I was ready to import my new product. And it was actually a pavilion. <laughs> well, now I'm back at zero dollars in the bank, but I have products worth of 45K and 180K in potential revenue. And now actually nothing happens until March 2020 and mid-March 2020, my new bird feeders would arrive and I was in for quite a negative surprise. And that brings me to my learning number three. Always do quality inspection when doing a large order. The first batch of bird feeders were great, so I thought I could just skip the quality inspection for the second order, but that was a dumb mistake by me. I had to pay a high price for it because the mold on one part of my product was faulty which led to a ton of products being returned. Actually, it was around 30% and that ruined any kind of margin. So luckily my manufacturer was agreeing to pay for the damage, but that couldn't save me from the bad reviews that I got. So always do a quality inspection. And in my experience, VTrust is, as the name indicates, a trustworthy company to do that. I've worked with them and they are really great in my opinion. Real quick, if you are selling on Amazon already, let us know down in the comments 
what were your biggest mistakes? And if you are just starting out, what are your current biggest obstacles? Let's share it in the comments and maybe others can learn from it or you can get help for your current situation. And in this channel, I'll talk more about how to make money with Amazon. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. It's May 2020. My pavilions finally arrive. It's the start of the season and they actually sell really well too. And by the end of June, all my pavilions will be gone again and I'll be out of stock again. And they were overall a great success. Let's have a look at the numbers again. And now I have made a revenue of 180,000 US dollars. And subtracting all the costs, I have 80K left in my bank account. Minus the initial payment that I made, the initial investment, at this point, I sit on 50K profit after one year. So what I do next is I reorder the pavilions, the bird feeders, and I was able to afford a third product. It was a heater for the terrace. And now at the end of June, I'm back at zero. But now we have 80K worth of products and more than 230K worth of revenue. Well, my learning number four is Amazon FBA is a money heavy business. I have constantly reinvested everything that I have earned and that is actually needed if you want to grow your business in Amazon FBA. And the advantage is you don't spend that much money on income tax, not at least yet <laughs> later year. So now we jump to December 2020, a new batch of products has arrived and among them are the heaters, the new product. It's not selling amazingly, but it's just doing fine. And in just a minute, I'll show you how the finances looked like in December 2020, almost at the end of our journey. But before that, I would like to mention learning number five. I've been selling on Amazon since 2019 and I can genuinely say it works. It is definitely a viable source of income for anyone who is willing to learn and put the work in. Now I will say this, this was quite a success story. And in order to get it done successfully, don't try to do everything by yourself. It will literally save you thousands of dollars if someone with experience helps you have the right mindset, make sure you're picking, picking a good product and helps you avoid major mistakes. Now you can pick any program out there that helps you on your journey. But I want to use that chance and tell you that I have my own mentoring program that includes personal support, weekly meetings, a strong community, great content. And compared to the other programs, it is actually dirt cheap while having a great quality. If you want to know more about it, check out the link in the video description. Or if you have a question, drop it in the comment sections below and I'll be there to answer it for you. Now my 18 month journey should come to an end in January, 2021. That's where I needed to move and some things happened in my personal life that led me to the decision to sell my business. I would later start a new one, but decided to sell it at this point. So I had 25K in the bank. I had circa 60K worth of products and 250K of potential revenue. And I sold the business for 150K, which left me with a profit of 110,000 US dollars after taxes and 18 months. And today it's actually back in the cash flow system. So no reason to try and drop me because the money isn't there. <laughs> now, very important note, as I have mentioned throughout the video, that it's not the norm to have a success like this, but with discipline and effort, Amazon FBA is in my opinion, the best business model to start as a side hustle and actually earn really well after some time. And frankly, this business probably isn't for everyone. But when you focus on the big picture and you can identify a true passion for the process and you're willing to dedicate some serious time, effort and money, then Amazon FBA may actually be for you. But there is a lot to learn. And if you want to see my tips and tricks of how to find profitable products, watch this video. See you next time.